Hey, what's up everybody? My name is TrophyNet and welcome back to The Witcher 3 on the Dead March difficulty. We're still playing the Blood and Wine DLC and we're back at uh, Corvo Bianco, the vineyard that we now own. And I actually never told you guys this before, but I think Corvo Bianco is uh, Italian for White Raven. So uh, that's a, a nice tidbit of information. And as you can see, there's a lot of new things here. The workshop is ready, it seems. We uh, have, I think we have the stables for Roach down here. Look at that, he seems uh, very happy. Uh, and a nice, nice bit of stables. Uh, I'm gonna have to see about the rest. There should be something inside as well. And today we're gonna also do the quest, the Hunger Game. We need to check up on Marlena, the former Spotted White that we lifted the curse for. And she should be inside here as well. So let's check up on her as well. Hello, Marlena. You seem to be looking better. I do not know how I will ever repay you, Witcher. Don't expect to be paid. Hope you're feeling better, that's all. Oh, yes, I feel my strength returning thanks chiefly to Barnabas Basil's care. Horrible ordeal you endured. Glad I cut it short. Yes. Years of suffering. Do you know what was worse than the hunger? Watching my loved ones, my children grow old and die. All my family's long gone now. The last of my kin perished decades past. I fear I've nowhere to go. Well, you can stay here if you want. This is a big house, big estate. You can stay here. Truly? I could never infringe so on your hospitality. Yet... Yeah. After all I've suffered, the years of starvation, I've but one dream. At last to prepare food that fortifies, nourishes, to delight in the tastes and smells of spices, to sit at one table with others and eat. Hmm. Don't see a problem if that's your dream. You could help Barnabas Basil in the kitchen, eating his meals. You know he's not a culinary virtuoso. Nothing could make me happier. Thank you. No, thank you. House could use a woman's touch. I've one other thing I'd like to tell you. Many years ago, my father assembled valuables for my diary. I never wet, so they remained unclaimed. These baubles are no use to me now, but to you, well... Perhaps let them be a token of my gratitude. If well, you thank you, Marlena. Me, you must go to my old home, to Trastamara. The dowry lies hidden in a barrel in the cellar. There are several barrels. You must give each a knock until you find the right one. Do just that. Thanks. So we'll do that in a minute. And uh, let's talk a bit more uh, to Marlena here. So where did you learn to cook? I'd never expect someone with your past to feel drawn to the kitchen. Do you fear I will cook in your home as I brewed as a white? <laughs> Counting on you having slightly better taste as a human. Of that, you can be sure. I loved cooking, even as a child. My gran was a true master in the kitchen. Her spit-roasted oaks was famed throughout the land. Thought you were a lady, owned an estate. I'm Do starting to get hungry already. Of my rank should have had a cook. You're right, of course. And I had the best of cooks. But I devised the dishes myself. They only prepared them. Okay, then. Uh, don't you miss the company of others? You sure you don't feel lonely out here? I cannot say yet. Too little time has passed since you freed me of my thrall. But somehow... For now, at least, I do not feel drawn to the city, to others. Visited others' homes as a white. Yes, but ever at night, when all were asleep, I went in search of spoons. Remember, you can always change your mind. Decide you've lived here long enough, just say the word. I'd never wish to seem ungrateful. And I'd never want you to stay against your will. There we go. So thank you, Marlena. Hope you have a, a nice rest of your life, because it's probably not going to be that long anymore. That was depressing. I'm sorry for that. But take care. See you later. Take care, Witcher. And remember, you always have warm food awaiting your return. I'm really getting hungry. I'm, I'm really getting hungry right now. 
Search for Melena's Dowry at the Trastamara Estate. We also have the uh, refurbishing quest, so let's talk to our major domo here, Basil, uh, Basil Faulty. A pleasure to welcome you once again to the as yet humble confines of Corfo Bianco. When last we met, I did not get the opportunity to present my credentials. With your permission, I shall do so now. Okay, do so. I previously served with distinction at the Nibli family manor and in Nazaire with Admiral Rompali, who, as you are certain to know, is an extraordinary demanding gentleman. Whoa, Barnabas Basil. One thing you ought to know, I'm not your typical landed gentleman. Truth be told, this is the first real property I've ever owned. Oh, in that case, you must leave it all to me. I shall organize, see to everything, and whip the house into order. I dare say this place will soon be the most prosperous vineyard around. Great. Can already see I'm in good hands. Okay, then. Uh, so we could do a lot more renovating. Um, but I think I don't have enough money to do so. Let's check. I'm to really like this place. Maybe we should keep going, refurbish some more. What do you think, BB? As you wish, sir. BB. Shall we see you to the house or the grounds this time? Uh, let's do some work on the house. Feels like by investing a bit of coin, I could make the house more functional. Indeed, momentum is best maintained once established. Now that we've finished the general renovations, you might begin to consider such things as a new bed, or additional armor stands, or weapon racks. Also, some new furnishings, and a fresh coat of paint on the walls would do much to improve the guest quarters. Okay. Um... Let's start with a better bed. Thinking about buying a comfortable bed. Always wanted one. Excellent idea. In your profession, rest is supremely important. But say the word, and I shall order you a bed from the carpenters who craft comfort for the court. Thousands. Yeah, bonus to vitality. That sounds good. Yeah. Great. Order the bed. Order me a fine bed, please. Think I deserve one at my age. True indeed. True indeed. I shall send a runner at once. The bet will be in place by this time tomorrow. Is there anything, anything else you require, sir? Well, it would be nice to do some other things. I don't think I have enough money for uh, the rest, since we spend a lot of it on the uh, Grandmaster Wolven gear. So I'll see you later, Barnabas Basil Faulty. Let's put a pin in this for now. Remember to have some urgent business to tend to. Not the slightest problem, sir. I am here to surf whenever you desire. So we should already have a few armor stands. So these are armor stands. Which is nice. Um, I think so now we have the bed. There's weapon racks over here. What is this? Hang painting. Sir Geralt of Rivia's shield. There we go. That's nice. Because uh, I think I sold the painting of the, the Pope guy. Let's see, is this my stash? No, it's probably on the other side. Hello? Oh, look, look, this is my bed, apparently. Nice bed. So let's check out my stash, and uh, I'll uh, probably fast forward this until I actually have something that I can use. So let's put the Wolven Silver Sword Mastercrafted over here. There we go. And then the other Wolven Mastercrafted Sword over here. Look at that. And then we can put the entire woven set on one of the armor stands over here. Since we completed that. Um, Mastercrafted woven armor. Mastercrafted woven trousers. Mastercrafted woven gauntlets. And the boots. There we go. Look at that. That's actually really cool. So I swapped back to my woven gear as well. Uh, I could use the other armor sets I have to put them on the stands. But... Um, I'm going to do that once I completely uh, upgrade those, so uh, that will be for later on. So that's, it's actually really nicely done right now. It's a bit cleaner. There's a lot more furnishing everywhere. And this must be the kitchen then. Look at that. Hello, Marlena. I think you're a bit too close to the fire there. But uh, be careful, though. Uh, so that's that. Uh, so we're going to have to wait with the rest of the refurnishings. Well, with the uh, the work on the house, when we actually get a bit of money, and maybe the current quest will help us with that. So we're going to head towards the Trastamara estate again, and let's check up on the dowry we might find. So see you guys there in a second.
So, back at the Trastamara hunting cottage. We'll follow the trail of spoons. And uh, try to reach the dowry again. There's still a lot of bar guests in the neighborhood by the sounds of it. But uh, let's see what we can find. So let's put on the quen sign. And uh, enter this place again. Still looks creepy, although it looks a bit less creepy now that we're here during the day. So let's see, it should be in the basement. I think we checked out the rest of this place as well. Uh, thoroughly, so when we did the uh, Spotted White quest. And we've been in the basement as well already, because we fought the Spotted White when we uh, couldn't lift the curse there previously. So let's check it out. So we haven't been here in this save file, so let's check it out a bit. I'm gonna guess there's gonna be a replacement monster right now, instead of the one we've been fighting. There's a book here as well, so a bit more wine, of course. Words of wisdom on beastly curses. Let's leave that over there. We don't really have a use for all these books. And there's nothing really else here, so let's drop onto the spoons. Hmm. I want to look around some. Yes, indeed. Okay. What's that noise? I hear something. So let's knock on the barrels here. Okay, knock on it. Sounds Full. hollow. Full. Okay. <sighs> Strange. Oh! Oh, what the... What the hell just happened? I was pushed back, but that just opened. Gold stick of joy. Hmm. That That's awful pretty. It'll look great in the house. Gold stick of joy. Is that a reference to a joystick? Uh, I don't think there's probably going to be anything else. Yeah, okay, there we go. So now we could probably head further on. Ah, oh, locked. Yeah, we don't have that key. We should get that from uh, the spotted white corpse, but now we don't have that. So that's too bad, but we'll uh, add that back upstairs and I'll see you guys back at uh, Corvo Bianco in a minute. Because I have another plan. So back at Corvo Bianco, I gathered up quite a bit of money. And uh, we're gonna try and uh, expand this place a bit more now. So hello, uh, Basil Faulty, our major domo. Renovations coming along all right, Barnabas Basil? Superbly, sir. General refurbishment has been completed, and I took the liberty of adding two racks, each upon which you might hang weapons and armor, if you've some pieces you'd like to display. Likewise, I have prepared a few spots in which new paintings might be hung. In other news, the laborers dusting out the cellar have made a most unusual discovery. I believe it's something you'll wish to see. Oh, that's not even why I'm here. Um... I'll go there right now, then. If you say I should see it, I'll go see it right now, BB. It's so funny he calls him BB. So no place like a home. Search the cellar. Hmm, interesting. So this is a quest that has been going on for quite a while since we started uh, restoring Corvo Bianco. So uh, let's see. Seems to be Strange. an opening here as well. Behind this wall, I think. Okay. So let's use R to blast this open. Hello? Is that an alchemy station? What's this? Laboratory. Must have been an alchemist at one time. Huh. Okay. What can I do in here then? Okay. Alchemy Laboratory. In the lab you can transform mutagens taken from monsters into their basic version. For example, you can turn a wraith mutagen into a lesser green mutagen. Huh. You can upgrade basic mutagens into their more powerful versions using the alchemy panel. If you find the right formulae, you can also change mutagens colors. Okay. Nothing crazy, but it's cool that we can do that. Okay, maybe we can do something more with that when we do the uh, the quest for the mutations. We'll see about that. So let's loot this as well. Julius Bangave's letter. To whomever finds this letter, my name is Jul. My name's is Julius Bangave's, 
And if you are reading these words, I am surely long dead. As be befits one of my station and familial connections, I was sent to study at Barnard, the famed school for mages. Yet I was never to complete those studies. For the entire duration of my life, magic held but a weak hold over a soul ravished by a passion for organic alchemy. It was to that most wondrous of sciences... Sciences, yes. I dedicated the most beautiful years of my life and the table beside which you now must surely, most surely stand is the fruit of those labors of love. If you are a fellow lover of alchemy, I hazard to guess you will be filled with rapture to behold my discovery. If, however, that marvelous science is unknown to you, please heed my advice. Drop this letter, step away from my table, and never return. The practice of alchemy by amateurs can lead to injury and even death. If you did not drop this letter after that last paragraph, you are no stranger to alchemy, thus I shall now reveal to you in a few brief words the fundaments of the alchemy table I designed. Leaving aside all unnecessary detail, my chief discovery consisted of a formula and tools allowing for the transmutation of mutagens taken from monsters into mutagens of the more common sort. I know this sounds highly unlikely, but I have proven with utmost certainty that this is possible. The workings of this transmutation are simple. One must simply make use of the table which I designed. As an expert in the arcane art of alchemy, you certainly already know your way around such devices. If you are but an amateur, a member of the Hoi Polloi, who has by accident wandered, wandered into this abandoned place, back away, lest your ignorance do your grievous harm. You are surely asking yourself why I hid my discovery from the world, why I did not share my formula with the community of alchemists. Well, let us say I have forever been regarded as eccentric, aloof. And I have always believed it is pure chance and not men themselves that determine destiny. Furthermore, I have never sired offspring and have no desire to entrust my opus to a mere acquaintance. I thus concluded the best solution was to hide my table and trust that chance will, if my theory is correct, bring a man here who shall know how to make use of it, whom it shall delight and to whom it will prove of great use. Whether I am right or wrong, time will tell. Use my gift wisely and fare you well, Julius Ben Gavais. Gavay, alchemist. So uh, that explains a bit why uh, this table was here by a former alchemist. This, there's something here as well. Okay. Mahakam spirits, strong alcohol was used to replenish alchemy items. Bombs and potions have gained an additional charge. Oh, that's cool. I noticed that, because yeah, indeed, my swallow now has an extra charge. Interesting. So let's leave. That was actually pretty cool. Um, there's more in the basement, of course, but I'm going to check back with uh, BB and uh, try to expand our uh, Corvo Bianco a bit more. So, hello, BB. BB, know anything about the laboratory in the cellar? One of the previous owners taken interest in alchemy? A laboratory? Alchemy? I know nothing of it, but I understand that to a witcher this must be a very intriguing fight. It is. It is. It was walled up. Equipment's pretty ancient too, so it must have belonged to someone who lived at Corvo Bianco before you started working here. Whoever it was sure knew their stuff though. Got dragon glass vials and flasks, stills, sublimators, vengerometers. Forgive me, sir, but I fear I don't follow. Yeah, Just I expected as much. top-notch equipment. True masterpieces of craftsmanship for use in alchemy. Brewing a concoction with this stuff versus doing it over an open fire? Well, there's no comparison. Then I am all the more delighted you discovered it, sir. Thank you, BB. So let's do some renovating. Starting to really like this place. Maybe we should keep going, refurbish some more. What do you think, BB? As you wish, sir. Shall we see to the house or the grounds this time? Well, let's focus on the house first, so, uh... Feels like by investing a bit of coin... We have a bit more coin more now. I agree thoroughly with every fiber of my being. So, let's order another weapon rack. Could use another weapon rack. Got some interesting pieces I'd like to display. I know of a carpentry shop in town which crafts the humblest lumber into true masterpieces. You need but give the word. Do so. Order the weapon Fine. racks. Order the racks. Of course, at once. At most one day for them to arrive, is my estimation. Sounds good. Is there so let's put uh, else you require, a few sir? more armor racks up as well. Armor stands. Along the path, I've often picked up well-crafted, beautifully ornamented armor. 
Some of those pieces would look great on display here. I agree. It would lend the place a certain witch's air. Shall I order new stands at once, sir? Yes, you should. Yes. Just please make sure they're solidly made and nicely finished. It goes without saying, sir. There is nothing worse than splendid armor upon a subpar stand. By this time tomorrow, they shall be ready to display your finest finds. Sounds good. Is there anything anything else you require? Yeah, what else sir? can we do inside of the house? Let's see about the guest I'm room. About the guest room. Not that I'm expecting company, but Oh, but that is immaterial. All self-respecting homes should boast a comfortable guest room. What if someone were to drop by unannounced? Yes, indeed, BB. You took the words right out of my mouth. So, here you go, here you go another thousand coins to have the guest room refurbished. Yeah, the sooner we start on that, the better. I can tell a man of action immediately. I'll see to it myself. The room shall be ready in two days, in my opinion. Is there okay, anything, so that's anything else you require, everything sir? in the house, I think, so... Let's improve the grounds a bit Starting more as well. This whole renovating thing. There must be other things we can improve. What a splendidly wise idea. Now that the general refurbishment is done, why not see to the grounds? Perhaps renovate the stables? Or return Madame Bolius's garden to its former verdancy? Or why not both? So, uh, Roach deserves a roomier stable. That sounds know, Roach, great. My horse. Well, we've been through a lot together. And since I finally got a decent place to stay, I think she deserves one too. Well, she has been replaced recently. Testifies to a most honorable owner. Just say the word, and I'll have them start working on it at once. Well, yeah. Bonus to horses, stamina. That's also a great bonus. So two thousand coins. Here My you go. Roach deserves the best. Have them refurbish the stables. And I think I, I have just enough once. money for something else that costs two thousand. So the garden. Though likely no more than two days. We that's not really time, is it? Else, sir. So, uh, herbs in the garden, that's what I want. So, sometimes I have to brew a potion, but I can't find the herbs I need growing anywhere nearby. Well, you're in luck, sir. The flower garden, once kept by Madame Nina, Monsieur Bolius's wife, seems the ideal place to cultivate herbs. In fact, it's roomy enough to plant shrubbery. Shrubbery? So let's do it. Good idea, Barnabas Basil. Herbs there will save me hours of painstaking searching and harvesting. The idea is yours, sir. I am but the humble executor of your will. I believe we shall have sown the first seeds in two days' time. That's will you be fast. Anything else, sir? So no, I think we're done, right? Yeah. So uh, thank you, BB. That's all for now, BB. Thanks. They should make a gun named after you. That was a stupid joke. Never mind that. So that's. A bit of uh, upgrading in Corvo Bianco done. We also found a dowry of Marlena, which we kind of put to good use. And uh, that's it for this episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And if you haven't already, don't forget to give it a thought to subscribe to my channel because I really appreciate any support you guys can give me. So thanks again enormously for watching. And I hope to see you in the next video or series. Goodbye.